I'm Frank Cho, and I'm the uh, creator of Liberty Meadows and, uh, and Skyborn. And I've worked at Marvel. Uh, I'm currently working at DC and Marvel right now, uh, mostly doing Harley Quinn covers. Uh, I have a bunch of books coming up. Um, uh, I ha I'm doing a big Kickstarter with uh, my, uh, my manager here, Steve, Steve Morger. And um, I have a ballpoint pen uh, art book that's going to come out later this year with uh, John Flesk. At the show, I'm selling a bunch of uh, art prints uh, like this, uh, the Jungle Queen. Uh, this is a piece that I did with uh, Gerhard, who's down the, down the row. Uh, I did the foreground and Gerhard did the background. came out really fantastic. So that's what I'm doing mostly, just selling art prints and signing comic books and having a great time. Hi, my name is Gerhard, as says on my sign. Uh, this is Shelly, my lovely wife. Hello. And um, I, we're here at the uh, LA Ultimate Show. And uh, we're, I'm showing off some uh, original art from the Cerebus graphic novel. It was a 300 issue uh, comic book that, went, that ran for some 26 years. Uh, it was 20 pages a month, so we did 20 of these a month. Uh, Dave Sim uh, was the writer, and he uh, penciled and inked the characters, and then I penciled and inked the backgrounds and did the color on the covers. Um, so this, kind of, for example, would have just had Cerebus and the word blue. Right, and then I would have filled in everything else. And Dave always said that the backgrounds were completely up to me. I could put in the interior of a submarine if I wanted to, but it would just look kind of weird. So it was kind of an interesting collaboration, uh, uh, interesting division of labor. Mostly it's uh, there's penciler and inker, but we both did our own penciling and our own inking, but I was in charge of the backgrounds. So other people have commissioned me. Uh, for instance, they got Kelly Jones to uh, uh, draw the Batman, and then I did the background and when this one came in it was kind of interesting because I'm looking at his leg here in the cape I'm going where's the rest of his leg where's his other leg what's he hanging on to up here I, I can't work like this and uh, Shelly said well, can, can you have him coming out of a window I said well no I'd have to tilt the whole thing oh I could just tilt the whole thing so it's an interesting way to work with uh, uh, this is a, a Zek uh, Craven and then I did the cityscape in behind it and this one's very interesting because uh, somebody owned an original pencil Bernie Wrightson Swamp Thing in Arcane and then he wanted me to put background on it and then ink the whole thing. And I said, you want me to ink Wrightson? Nobody inks Wrightson but Wrightson. So it's, and he said, no, I want, it, I want you to do it and I want it to look like your stuff. So, and my technique involves about six or seven billion tiny little lines to build up all those levels of gray. <laughs> These are just a little sort of piece of Cerebus history. This is way back in 1985, we did a limited edition set of prints and these feature all of the characters in the first fifth part of the story. The 300 issues of, of Madness and Mayhem. Hi, I'm Mark Schultz. I'm a, a cartoonist and an illustrator, uh, published by Plus Publications. We've got a new book coming out, a collection of my work, uh, Carbon 3, uh, be out in a month or two. Um, I've done several properties for which I'm known, uh, most importantly I guess is Zenozoic Tales, and uh, I've done another book called Storms at Sea, which is an illustrated graphic novel, it's an illustrated prose novel. Uh, Zenozoic uh, is, a, is a comic book series. And uh, here's a couple examples of what I do. This is the cover to the new collection Carbon 3. Uh, featuring my character from the Storms of the Sea novelette. And uh, another example of one of my illustrations from Storms at Sea. Uh, I've got to have a new Xenozoic story coming out in a year or two. It's a graphic novel. It's been about 20 years since the last one, so I had to get around to doing something new. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know about me. Hi, I'm Marco Galli, and I ink comic books. Um, over the years, I've had a good chance to uh, work over some great artists. Uh, one of them is Dave Finch that I worked on at uh, Top Cow. Uh, my forte was I started as a background inker, so a lot of this technical stuff I was uh, able to handle really quickly. One of my favorite pieces. 
I've worked on uh, Venom for uh, Crime Lab Studios. I was one of their uh, uh, studio anchors, so I got to work on, let's see, Elektra, um, The Incredible Hulks, a uh, bunch of other titles we worked on a lot. I worked on Lady Death with Romano. I've also worked on a lot of stuff with Romano. Uh, Pin Up for Top Cow, Fathom, uh, Witch Finder. We worked on three issues of that miniseries. Um, I also worked on the uh, Forgotten Realm stuff with Tim Seeley, really nice artist. All artists I've worked with have been different too, some, some stark line and some with a lot of detail. One other last piece I'd like to show is uh, this Benito's Weapon Zero back in the day from Top Cow. This is uh, mid 90s. It's Magdalena stuff with Benitez, Top Cow. A lot of intensive backgrounds. This is Hulk of the End off of uh, Keown, Del Keown. This was really fun to do. This is a uh, Sylvester Iron Man from the Civil War Initiative. This was really fun. This is a piece I worked with Joe. So I hope, uh, hope you like the little sampling of the artwork that the sinkers do.